So why would you consider doing a video podcast, especially a video interview style of podcast? Why not just do the typical talking head two or three minute videos? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and a phone blogger.net. And I'm going to say right up front, it's not either or, it's both. Why? Well, when you're doing a one, two, three minute type of video, short form content, getting it out there to social media, getting it out there to people that may not know you or may not know you well, you're trying to grab attention. You're trying to pull them towards you to possibly either consume additional short form content or longer form content. Yeah, but you know, people don't really want to sit and watch a video for half an hour. Uh, yeah, they do, if they're your audience. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the difference between reaching out, getting exposure, and actually nurturing an audience. Why would you want to do that? I just want to grow my business. I just want to get you know, some new leads coming in. I just want to get new, new business coming in. Well, and you can get that doing short form content. And you can expand that and build something that gives you a rate of return that's many times that of the short form content if you'll go to the trouble and work of creating an audience. So in other words, who's, who's your audience? Your audience are people that know, like, and trust you. They're familiar with you. They've gotten to know your personality. They know what you're about and they can trust the content, the information that you're getting across to them. So that can't happen in one, two, three minutes. It happens over a much broader piece. And if people are trying to research, research something, trying to learn something, trying to, trying to gain insight uh, into an area that is an area that you're talking about, that you're discussing in your content, then they want the longer form. That's number one. Here's the, here's the kicker, though. The reason to do it as a video interview versus you just talking to the camera or just talking to the audience, even doing live streams and trying to keep up with the chat and, and, and communicate back and forth while you're chatting. Well, think about it. What's more interesting? You talking to the camera, are you talking to another professional, having their perspectives, your perspectives, all kind of blended together in a conversation? Conversations are very attractive. It also en enhances or heightens our, abil our creative abilities so that we can engage at a whole different level than if we're just talking to this inanimate, inanimate object called the camera. I'm starting a podcast. There'll be information below for you to be able to connect into that. And I'm going to be talking about inspiring businesses and what you'll find out more about what that means as time moves forward. Again, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net and the phone blogger.net. The information that I mentioned before will be linked below. Have a great day.